Hello everyone, my name is the Fox. This is a continuation on taking a look at the copper heatsink mod and aluminum heatsink mod. Right now I have the copper heatsink mod installed in this GPU and 2 This is the aluminum one and that's how it looks, but obviously this is aluminum. Here is the stock heatsink and that came from this unit, but obviously now it has the copper heatsink block in there. We're going to be running games at 15 watt just to show you what kind of temperatures they get and type of you know performance that you should expect and I can comment on that as we go. We are going to be taking a look at Darksiders 3. There are a few things that you need to do to do so. So you're going to jump into start run and do percent app data percent, just like that. And you'll jump into your roaming app data. From there, you're going to want to back out and go to local. And then you're going to want to go to Darksiders 3, saved, configed, Windows no editor, and then game user settings at any. Uh, give me one second. I have to silence my phone. So now that we're in here, one of the unfortunate things is that the resolution scale doesn't appear to be working. You can make this 25%, you can make it anything you want, and it's not going to be respected. Which is unfortunate because we could have kept text and everything rendering at 720p and just having the in-game engine run at a lower resolution. Unfortunately, that's not going to be the case. So there's two things you need to do. Number one is put full screen mode to two. That's going to be most important. So, that be, so that will allow the game to render and be shown as it should be instead of being half screen. Uh, disabling full screen optimizations isn't going to work for you, so you really have to just do this right here. The resolution that I'm choosing is 896 by 504 because that is going to give you better performance while also being really the minimum that I would care to go to. Anything smaller than that, you're going to start noticing um, font issues. It's going to be hard to read stuff. So uh, that's what I choose. Now, the other gotcha about that is that um, it's going to run in a windowed mode, right? So because we have this lower resolution, it's not full 720p. You can see my fingerprints are up here. And the reason for that is because we're going to use this um, old trick that I've done before where we can try to just zoom in. We're going to just try to line it up. There you go. So we'll click in there just to get the game started. Go ahead and switch over to gamepad mode. So again, you can see that we're in the power limit is at 15 watt. You can see our current wattage right now. It's only 3.456 because, you know, we're just in the menu. Uh, here you can see the frame rate graph that I've added. This is just to give better visibility of the type of variations that you should expect as, you know, as we're playing the game, just so that it becomes, it's more evident to see how things are running and that it's not exactly perfectly smooth, especially in something that is intense as this newer game. Give it a second for it to kind of load everything, and then things will even out. And you're going to start to see all that erratic dipping behavior right there that you just saw. So this graph is uh, about three seconds delayed before you start seeing it come in. So that was all the, the erraticness, and now this is where we are proper, where it's a little bit more, um, what's the word I want to say, averaged out. And again, we are running on 15 watt. You can see that... My CPU is at 2.4 gigahertz. Um, that's the max one at dual core. And my GPU clock is 848. Press up to replenish health with, okay. How about I dodge? Oh, he's not dead. So again, you can run this game at 720p, except it's going to be um, in the low 20s, mostly in the teens, especially when it's, things start getting action-packed. Now, obviously, I have this big block here just so that it's easier to see all the metrics going on. You can still see what's going on behind. I do apologize. It's going to be a little bit darker. Um, but the point of this test isn't for um, showing you how the game, how pretty the game looks. It's really just about showing you the copper heatsink block, the temperatures that are reported right here, how it works after about 10 minutes worth of play, because we are going, you know, it's not going to be 60 degrees Celsius while we're doing that. What does it say? Press X. Press X to activate the loop swing. Hold X. Where does it want me to do that? <laughs> I 
can't even see anything. All right, give me one second while I read what that says instead of blocking what I can't see. <laughs> All right, so I take back what I said. I totally need to be able to see everything, but you guys can still see here. Again, this CPU package power is what we're going to be looking at here. Uh, again, because this is more of a... Uh... Whee! No. This is more of a copper heating test than a game test. Let me run, get this screen showing more closer in the center of the screen. I apologize. I'm, I'm actually looking at the LCD of the GPU in 2 as opposed to my viewfinder. Apologies if I trail off there every now and again. And we get... There we go. That makes sense now. So it's kind of cool, it looks like that cutscene is more or less locked at 30 FPS. It's harder to see here, but you can see, I should really change the color of this. You can see how kind of consistent this is running. I should really make this like red or bright green just so it's a little bit easier to see. Let's start fighting. Judge. Okay, jump over that. Press A. What do it want me to do? I don't see any double jump platforming stuff. Let's do that again. Let me uh, jump ahead of it. All right, so we're back in the mix of it. Let me uh, heal up a little. Whoopsie doodle. So now let's see if I can't figure this part out. There we go. Oop, not that button. Drink up, drink up. <laughs> All right, so what are we, we're at like nine minutes right now. Let's focus on there. Um, so I've been playing just, uh, when I died here, I actually respawned at the beginning. So I had to play through another few minutes before I could start re-recording again. Um, so I've been playing for about 12, 13 minutes right now, and we're only at 67 degrees Celsius, 68 degrees Celsius. Again, you've seen Doom get up, and someone had pointed this out on the Discord forum that it actually went up to 74 degrees Celsius. Uh, but again, we are running at 15 watt. Uh, I am running undervolted. Let's see if we can't get a better view of this. You can see right now that the max that it will ever really go up to is about 12 watt, especially when undervolted, because we are bound by how much uh, how fast we can go on the CPU and the GPU and we're pretty much bound by 2.4 gigahertz and 848 megahertz on the GPU 
The thing to know about this is that at one of the reasons that I've always recommended people to go only like to 8.25 watt is that you will at that at that TDP you will always manage to hit your top clocks. You're not going to get when you go to 10 watt and 11 watt, the only thing that you really do is you increase your minimum frame rates and that will increase by 50% at this extra wattage. Um, so it, basically what that means is that the game will just be smoother overall. There'll be less hiccups. There'll be less, um, there'll be less, what's the word I'm looking for? Stutter. So, um, that's basically the only reason that you're going to want to run at this. And obviously you're going to want this copper heatsink to keep you at a low temperature. Um, the copper heatsink does work. It does a great job. Dark Stiders 3 is uh, pretty fun. It's a little bit difficult, they, especially because I'm still trying to... Right now, when I press R3, which is the trigger button, I'm getting confused for uh, right one to do my dash to get out of the way. Um, but I'm trying to figure out... I'm pretty sure this is kind of like the, the tumble in Dark Souls. So I'm, I'm just trying to get this to be a little bit more um, muscle memory. In any event, this is Dark Stiders 3. We're taking a look at the Copper Heatsink mod. We're running at 15 watt. It only really goes up to 12 watt. Uh, if you wanted to know how to play Darksiders, uh, Darksiders 3 and have it run really well on the GP Win 2, this is also a really good uh, uh, method to do so. As always, thank you for your time and thank you for watching.